Good morning, everybody. Look at this little Dunkin' Donuts there. You can tell I'm in Florida. And uh, there we go. This is, we are on the road. Look at this. Is this not incredible? I'll tell you, the places we don't go together, right? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Nice to see you. All right, everybody's starting to join. Good morning, Sandra. So, good morning, Ivana. Hi, from Florida. So, there we go. Sorry, coffee cup's in the way. Good morning, Dana. So we are in, I think it's called Hammock Highland State Park. I think that that's where we are. And it's all these trails. So look, if you can see, look at the magical sky. Look at that. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so today we are going to talk about the vibrational gap. So this is basically... This is basically the space in between our words and our feelings. So if you're an empath, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where somebody will say something, um, but if you're an empath, you hear or feel something else so that the words aren't matching the feeling, right? And sometimes that could be our own perception of a tone or what we're hearing, but it's almost like this intuitive um translation of what the person is saying good morning adrian so that vibrational gap can sometimes cause miscommunication because again sometimes we may take that vibrational gap what's not said in between we may take that personally but it, it could not be about us it could be either that person's perception or their thoughts or their feelings or it could be um, just that it's a trigger for some reason. But we hear that a lot. We hear that vibrational gap a lot, um, that tone of something in between. And it's the unsaid, it's what's not said that ends up being kind of the message in between. So sometimes if you have that vibrational gap with someone, you know, I don't know. It's two things. You can ask, right? But ask yourself, is this me or is this them? Is this about me or is this about them? That will kind of help you determine what it's about and what's happening. But when we are empaths, we feel all that space in between. A lot of times you can walk into a room and you'll feel tension, right? Or you'll have, a, you'll just know, like there's so many times I'll be walking past a couple and I'll know that they're having an argument. I'll feel that there's tension in between them, even though most people wouldn't pick up on it. That's just, that's the gap. That's the space in between that a lot of us can tune into. But what happens is we tune into it and then we we can be that sponge your sponge can get away from you you know what i mean so you're feeling and seeing and hearing everything in between um and that can become where it's overwhelming for you so that's where your protection block will will come in handy but it's amazing how many times like it, it's so weird like there'll be uh yesterday in the airport there was a couple and they had a kid and I could just feel that they were having an argument but I could also feel like the man was controlling like I could feel that she was in a controlling relationship so I'm just like it's so weird it's so weird how we have all these thoughts and feelings and we kind of know the story without ever even meeting them right good morning Tiffany good morning Kim it does get very overwhelming and so and it can be, it can hurt your feelings a lot. That that gap in between can kind of hurt your feelings or be overwhelming. Uh, it can also trigger your own anxiety. So, you know, other than what we talked about yesterday, again, that kind of grounding feeling. One of the things you can do is center yourself, okay? So what happens is when you're starting to feel that, that's because your energy is expanding outwards, upwards, or forwards. So actually bring bring it in and then work on just physically kind of um, grounding into the present moment. The minute you literally ground, like right into the present moment, into your own body, like bring yourself back into your own physical source and your own center, you'll be able to kind of naturally block them out. 
Right, so that's just one thing that you can do. But it's really fun to see the story behind everything. But it also can create communication issues with our loved ones. And so we have to be mindful of our own selves. What are we saying or how are we saying it so that we're, our words are matching our vibration? Because many times our words can mismatch the vibration of what we're feeling. But again, it could just be a trigger. It absolutely could just be a trigger. Um, and so we have to kind of look at it that way. All right. So ask yourself, hey, how do I protect myself? How do I, um, how do I not feel everything? And then how do I, oh, we got trucks going by. It's a state park. How do I go through my daily life not feeling so completely zapped by the end of the day? Because you know, again, it's kind of like being open. What happens is you're open, but sometimes we're open and we don't realize we're open. You're just naturally open. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to look at yourself and say, oh, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, mm, 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 and my energy is getting out. Or ask questions. Ask questions of people. Oh, Southampton, hello, Pat. Uh, ask questions of people. I think, again, I always feel like we're not communicating enough. I know we can all communicate more. When we're dealing with different people and different personalities and things like that, we have to be mindful of this gap, the vibrational gap, the vibrational gap between what we're putting out, what we're saying, what we're hearing, what we're feeling. Okay, and then work on ways to um, hone it, work on ways to make it more in alignment so that our communication is open, so that our communication is clear, so that, again, our words match our vibration. Hi, Helen. Hi, Rachel. Oh, yes. Oh, nice, Jane. Jane's saying the sun's out in New Jersey. So, you know, that, those are the things. But look how, real quick, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment. Look at that. There's some trucks, but look. I know, it's beautiful, beautiful here, beautiful, hang on, I need some coffee, so, all right, so a couple things, what do we talk about, we're talking about the vibrational gap, we're talking about what we hear, feel, or see from other people, especially if you're an empath, if you're an empath, this is so overwhelming for you, I get it, but it's also have fun with it. Look at it as a game, you know, Ooh, what are they talking about? Ooh, is that a new date? Like I can always tell when someone's on a new date and I can always tell if like the persons are into one another. I can always tell what's going to happen later. I mean, it's fun. It's a little nosy, but it's so much fun. I mean, like I have had more dates tuning into other people than I've had in like the last 10 years. It's fabulous. It's so much fun. So Look at it as a game, but it's a perfect way for any of you empaths, for any of you honing your gifts, for any of you wondering if you have gifts. It's a wonderful way to practice. Kind of tap in, feel in, but you have to find people that, that you can ask, hey, were you feeling this? Were you hearing this? Was this what you were thinking when you said it? So check out to see if your telepathy is working. Check out the clairsentient is the, the feeling right down here, remember? Oh, look, you get to see my mouth. Um, <laughs> here, she needs some coffee. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. <laughs> Did you? That's, I think she wants another sip. You ready? Here, another sip. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. But these are the ways that we can tune into our own vibration, tune into what we're getting. And again, so if you don't want to feel it, you got to put up your block. If you don't want to tune in, you got to put up your block. The second thing, you got to find out if it's you or if it's the other person. How do you do that? You've got to ask. You've got to ask higher self, ask your guides. Is this me or is this the other person? That will help you. Um, and you know, find out, let's open up that communication, let's work on it, and if it's too overwhelming for some of you that's saying, then work work on your protection and work on centering, you know, bringing that energy inwards, inwards, in alignment, and then um, when you do that, when you bring it so centered and inward and bring yourself into the absolute physical presence, present moment, it will go away. You can't be right here. Like, watch. Ready, everybody? Let's just practice together one time. Ready? Right here. Focus right here, all of you. Focus yourself right here and focus yourself on your exact physical moment right now.
See, you actually can't be tuning in. But if we let go and we expand it out and just imagine your energy expanding out, all of a sudden you can start to feel and hear. So there you go. That's it today. I'm going to keep it short because I, I got some walking to do. I got some, I got some hiking to do. So here's where we're going to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to walk. And look, I'm just going to show you behind me so you can see everything. Is that not amazing? There you go. Cheers, everybody. Guess what? Tomorrow's also another special treat. Special road trip tomorrow. You guys are spoiled, honestly. I was thinking about it earlier. You guys are so spoiled. I'm taking you everywhere. Where do you see where I'm taking you tomorrow? So tune in, and I'll see you at 10 a.m. Bye, everybody.